Hi guys and welcome along to today's video and we're looking today at this security camera it's the Bullet 2E from Imu. You know I just love opening new gadgets don't you when they're fresh in a box <laughs> see what we've got it's a favourite thing. So there we are then looks like we've got a quick start guide on the top there a quick start guide boom and what have we got here just like another kind of instruction manual of some sort there and that is obviously the plate for screwing it to the wall the template for you so the actual camera is here I'm going to have to break this tape and get it out and power supply here it's a three meter long lead so that's quite nice give you a bit more to get the thing where you want it obviously if not you'll need a by a longer extension lead but that's quite normal for these cameras so now we'll take this out of here we'll come out with the phone there we are that back and what else have we got that's the water protection okay for the connections and just a little fixing kit here and basically that looks like about it here then is a little recording out the back there in the garden with Mo wandering around and as you can see lovely clear picture there on the camera so let's now highlight some of the pros of this camera some of the lovely things it can do and first of all obviously it's a HD full HD picture as you can tell there uh, it's got full smart color night vision and I do like the fact you get the color I know you have to have the spotlights on but that is another good thing actually to be able to turn on these spotlights at will if you want or you can have them to turn on with the alarm function we'll go into all those in a minute uh, we've got soft AP mode we've got weatherproofing to full weatherproof standards of today we've got obviously Wi-Fi cloud connection and more importantly as well I really like to have on a camera these days is a micro SD card slot so we can stick a small card in there to record and it has the usual facility of once the card is full up then it will rewrite over itself so you don't have to keep taking a card in and out of the camera so we just have to get our Imu Life app there and you can see it Dan's thumbs on it and there we have the picture from the garden with all the stuff now that we can look at we can go to all our settings page which I think is the most important one here then is our main settings page and you can see there we've got cloud storage if you want to buy that it's up to you we've got the A1 detection, uh, device center, download list, local files so if you've got SD card on there uh, the very nice one geo fencing which uh, I'm going to in a minute it's a, a really good idea on this and tools and more services so let's start at the beginning shall we yes that all important button here settings <laughs> it's the one isn't it so we have account and security up there the push notifications so we can do prompts and the period of time to and from and a thumbnail if we want a thumbnail sent to our main page back and there we have our home screen layout so we can have a large view if you want or a small view down here and we've got also play on cellular network when enabled allows you to play on a cellular okay and we've got a reset device password and so on sports center user experience plan ads and clear cache a little bit more then about the alarm system here I'll run this up here and as you can see this is the one where we don't want them going off on pet activity passing vehicles and things like that so we can set this instant alert for a human pet recognition alerts with a snapshot if you want to and vehicle detection if you want to real time alarm and you get a notification preview with a gif that's a picture for all you guys who don't realize what it is <laughs> okay uh, it's quite a lot in there you can see it can short app, uh, the app will generate a short video for you okay so if you need um, any videos of what may have happened you'll get a short ones okay and there's all the applications the human detection 
As we go down the list there, you can see we've got cloud storage, which is deactivated. I don't want to be paying for that. Uh, but you can if you want to. You've got your local storage, which I've got none in there at the moment. But if you put the mini SD card in there, uh, you will have it. It's at the bottom of the camera. I'll show you what that is later. And I don't know what the local storage rule is. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just set up the recording schedule and the video resolution. There we are, store video and also high definition or the scheduled recording again. So I guess that's when you want to schedule and you can get the recording schedule done. I don't want that, so let's get that off. High definition, of course, and you can drop it to standard if you want to. Okay, do what we want high, don't we? I've got great touch screen here, I <laughs> say so, so. So lovely and unsensitive, isn't it? Right, back we go. So, down to the next lot here today is the spotlight there and Optivite on detection. So we can, I'll get this wire out of the way, it's a bit of a nuisance, isn't it? And the spotlight will now come on when anything is detected by the camera. And go back now. Uh, you can share the device with someone else and the wireland settings and more. Let's see what more says, shall we? Okay, so it's the status LED on it, image rotation, encryption, time zone, and date format, and restart. Oh, by the way, this device also works with Alexa if you've got that, so that's quite handy too. And we're going to detection now to set up the event types. Let's have a little look in here. Now I've got motion detection on at the moment. Let's have the human detection. This is the one we're interested in, isn't it? And we've got that on now. Now you've got a detection schedule, so you can set up when you would like to be notified of detections there. Uh, we've got motion sensitivity, it's an important one isn't it, because we don't want it going off too quickly and easy, we can set the amount of detection we want from minimum to maximum there. Uh, then we go to our general activity zone, now this is an important one, I like because if it turns it round, sorry about that, but it does, <laughs> and this one you can set up your activity zones and your non-detection zones, so you can, you can set up basically where you don't want it to be so if you can kind of just a razor there's a clear and you can rubber there you go that's it that's a detection area where we're just interested in say for instance on this particular setting I'm not really I'm just showing you this <laughs> so you know we can rub it straight out with this one here so my, my touch phone is not very touchy is it <laughs> a razor there we go. Right, let's see how the detection gets on. I'm going to pop out the backyard now, see if it picks me up okay. Let's have a look, see if the detection's come up. There we are, backyard human detected. It looks like me. Oh yeah, and you can see all the other ones there that have been taken earlier. So you've got a complete kind of snapshot record there of that. One other important device I've got to tell you about here is the geofencing function. Push that little button and you get this little notification here. Geofencing mainly means that the alarms will not be sent to you if you have set it in place around your property for instance so if you're at home you obviously don't want to be notified of false alarms but what it does is not inform you when you're at home in a set predetermined area once you leave your home then the alarms are set so it saves you having alarms going off all the time for false alarms because you're at home it could be you activating them but it does mean that once you go off outside the premises and away from your property in the selected area it will automatically arm the alarms for you so it's quite a nice little device I think if you leave your phone at home it won't work <laughs> so just to fill you in what geofencing is and still the picture if you'd rather read it and take up too much video time. 
Here we are then with the colour night vision and you can see just how good that is. You can see it's definitely 30 metres easy with the night detection range. It's really good, isn't it? Really good. I'll walk out there now, see if we can get our detection up. As you can see, I set it so that the lights would flash on the alarm and also give me a detection to the phone. This is to help try and deter any intruders and uh, obviously draw attention, which I think it certainly does. Just to summarise then before we go, geofencing I think is a great idea that is with this camera and also the fact that it will not work with 5G networks, okay, that's very important. If you've got 5G, this camera's not for you. Also, another great idea that I've got to mention as well, it has got a built-in Wi-Fi hotspot included with this camera, a great idea. So, before we wrap up, I'd say about showing you where the SD card went on this camera, and it is right here, at the bottom of the camera, okay. So, it's a, it's a couple of screws here, whip it out in the card slot, is in there okay so pretty easy uh, that little button there by the way is the reset button if you need to reset and start the camera again afresh there you go then another great camera i reckon if you're interested in home security or wherever you need some extra security or your home office or wherever anyway that's about it though all my stuff the usual place you know where to go cheers and Catch you on Derrick and 33 next time. Bye-bye.